Chancellor Barron, I declare the 85th commencement ceremony of the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith, convened. Please be seated. Distinguished faculty, administrators, and staff of the university, graduates, parents, family, and friends, welcome to the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Spring 2011 Commencement Ceremony. Let us take a moment of reflective silence to consider the importance of this celebration in all of these graduates' lives. Please rise and join Dr. Catherine White as she leads us in singing our national anthem accompanied by the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Symphonic Band, Will All Men Remove Their Caps? Please be seated. Men may replace their caps. I would like to introduce the administration, academic deans, and others from the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Dr. Ray Wallace, Provost and Senior Vice Chancellor. Dr. Arlene Bro, Vice Chancellor for University Relations. Mark Horn, Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration. Dr. Lee Crable, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Dr. Marta Lloyd, Vice Chancellor for University Advancement. Dr. Kyle Parker, Vice Chancellor for Planning and Technology. Dr. Brenda Mitchell, Associate Provost. Dr. Mark Arant, Dean, College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Dr. Georgia Hale, Dean, College of Applied Science and Technology. Dr. Joe Harden, Dean, College of Languages and Communication. Dr. John Jones, Dean, College of Education. Dr. Carolyn Mosley, Dean, College of Health Sciences. Dr. Henry Rennie, Dean, College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Dr. Steve Williams, Dean, College of Business. Diana Rowden, Dean of Student Success. Penny Pendleton, Dean of Enrollment Management. Dr. Ashok Saxena, Dean, College of Engineering, University of Arkansas Fayetteville, who will confer the degrees on those graduating with engineering degrees. Elizabeth Underwood, Director of the UA Fort Smith Alumni Association, and Wayne Womack, Register. Thank you. Next, I would like to introduce the Vice Chairman of the University of Arkansas System Board of Trustees, Mr. Mike Aiken. Very good, thank you. Also with us from the University of Arkansas System Board of Trustees is Mr. Jim Von Grimm.
I'd also like to introduce members of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Board of Visitors who are here today. Douglas J. Babb, Michael Barr, James O. Cox, Eileen Cradle, J. Michael Shaw, Peggy Weidman, and Monty Wilson, who is the chairman of the Board of Visitors. Please give them a round of applause. We have some special guests with us today. Would you rise and be recognized as I call your name from the audience? First person I'd like to recognize that I always recognize is my wife, First Lady Janice Barron, First Lady of University of Arkansas Fort Smith, who works tirelessly for UA Fort Smith. I'd also like to recognize State Representative Denny Altus, District 63, who is here to celebrate with us today. Seated before you are members of the faculty who represent the academic departments of the university upon whose recommendation candidates for degrees are presented. Faculty members, please rise and be recognized. Thank you. The success of an institution also relies on the hard work of the staff, many of whom are here today. Will the staff, wherever, you're, wherever you may be, please uh, identify yourself or rise if you're seating so that you can be recognized. When I was hired five years ago, and during the years that most of you who are sitting out here who are about to graduate, uh, and during that time you've been working on your degrees, at least part of that time, if not all of that time, UA Fort Smith was in transition uh, with some growing pains. It was a university that was just coming out of the cocoon of being a local community college. We were often termed a hybrid institution back then, meaning we granted four-year university degrees, but also were committed to supporting local manufacturing and industrial base with two-year graduates. Dr. Sugg, president of the University of Arkansas System, who will speak to us today and whom I will formally introduce in just a moment, wanted UA Fort Smith to develop as a university but not lose touch with the community. Today, I can say without hesitation that the University of Arkansas Fort Smith is indeed a quality regional university and no longer suffers the confusion of being a hybrid. Our institutional focus and mission is now clear. We are an economic engine for this part of the state. We develop degrees and programs, four-year, two-year, one-year, and non-credit that have direct connections to real jobs and employment opportunities in a global world on the one hand, but on the other hand, we use our required core education to build critical and creative thinking skills because we know in the near future students will change careers an average of six times in their lives. Those of you graduating today have been here at UA Fort Smith during this amazing transition. You have seen 20th century buildings updated to 21st century buildings and new buildings built. You've seen growth and opportunity with more programs, classes, and professors. And I know that you have personally witnessed, probably with not a lot of pleasure at the time, the growth of our population as it became harder and harder to find a parking spot. You may not realize it, but you all have had the opportunity that few students have in their academic career. You have become and are an integral part of the changes that have turned UA Fort Smith into a true quality regional university. And it's on the work, it's on the, it's on the backs of your work and the backs of the work of the faculty that that has happened. So I thank you for your work. So now we're sending you out as teachers, business professionals, engineers, writers, nurses, mechanics, artists, technicians, your education has created the opportunity in you to be able to change jobs and careers as necessary and to not just survive, but excel in a dynamic global world. 
I say this at every graduation to all the graduates. This step is just the first in your real education. The faculty have worked hard to make you a learner. That's really what a degree is about. It's a declaration to the world that you have survived a course of study that forms the base for the rest of the learning that you will do for the rest of your lives. I wish you not good luck, but I wish for you, for each of you, that you have the intention of making the world a better place because of what you do as you enter the world as a graduate. Now I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Sugg, our speaker. Dr. B. Allen Sugg has served as the president of the University of Arkansas System since May 1990. He's a native Arkansan, having grown up and attended public schools in Helena, West Helena, where his father was the county superintendent of schools and his mother was a teacher. Dr. Sugg received a track scholarship to the University of Arkansas and upon graduation was commissioned into the U.S. Army and was stationed in Germany. He has a master's degree from the University of Arkansas and a Ph.D. in higher education administration from the University of Oklahoma. Prior to assuming the U.A. system presidency in 1990, he was in Texas for 22 years with the last 13 uh, being the president of Texas A&M at Corpus Christi. Now that's some of the basic background on Dr. Sugg, but those dry facts do not begin to tell the story of Dr. Fl Dr. Sugg's influence on education in this state since 1990. When I was hired as the chancellor here at UA Fort Smith, it was clear to me from the beginning that Dr. Sugg expected academic excellence, that he expected team play in the UA system in the state, that he expected the focus of the institution to be developed and refined and that he expected UA Fort Smith to serve students in the best way possible. Those expectations, excellence, teamwork, institutional focus, and student service are what has driven change, growth, and opportunity at UA Fort Smith. I don't call Dr. Sugg much about operational issues on a day-to-day -day basis, but I think about his standards every day. What would Dr. Sugg think? What would Dr. Sugg do? That has become kind of my personal mantra, and the answer generally becomes evident or much more clear when I go back to that perspective. I know that all my colleagues at all the institutions of the University of Arkansas system have the same kind of respect and admiration that I have for Dr. Sugg. So it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. B. Allen Sugg as my boss, mentor, and benchmark for excellence in the state of Arkansas. Thank you very much for those kind remarks, Dr. Barron. I think I'm going to hire you to be my PR agent. You know, that's one. Thank you. And Dr. Catherine White, I really, really enjoyed singing the alma mater with you. You make me feel like I can sing when I'm singing it with you. And you know, everything about the University of Arkansas at Fort Smith is first class. And I tell you, the band, there's none better. So thank you all, all for your good work and your good music and everything that you do. You know, I'll always have a special feeling for Fort Smith because when I was a young guy, I used to come to Fort Smith with my parents to see my father's brother and sister, my aunt and uncle, and my cousins who lived here in Fort Smith. And you know, coming from little Helena to great big Fort Smith was really quite a treat and it was always fun. And my cousins, actually, Joanne and Jean Goins and their children and families still live here. Also, the late H.L. Hembry was a member of the University of Arkansas Board of Trustees in 1990 when I was in, hired to be the president of the University of Arkansas system. And he said, you know, he was a very strong supporter of mine and I really, really enjoyed working with Mr. Hemper. He later became chairman of the board. And I miss him, miss him very much. Now one of the highlights that I've had as serving as the president of the University of Arkansas system was having, having the opportunity to work with the late Joel Stubblefield, the West Stark College, uh, Board of Trustees, at, and I think Eileen Cradle is here today, and Mike Shaw, is, is, those are two that were on that board at that particular time, and the leadership of the community and members of the faculty and staff, and you remember the hearings that we had and the discussions we had about this. Uh, but, but, but I had that opportunity to work in bringing about the merger of West Ark College into the University of Arkansas system, and that merger occurred on January 1, 2002. We kind of had a celebration on campus at midnight of that night. 
And also, it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been tremendous and a great pleasure for me to watch the phenomenal growth and development of UA Fort Smith since it became a four-year university. And Dr. Barron mentioned some of those things. But one of the very major reasons, and probably the most important reason, that West Ark needed to develop into a four-year university was to increase the low percentage of the adult population with bachelor's degrees who were living in the area served by this university. And clearly, UA Fort Smith has significantly increased this population. Listen to these numbers. Since becoming UA Fort Smith, the university with the graduate, graduates here tonight, the baccalaureate graduates, will have awarded nearly 3,000 baccalaureate degrees since 2002. And I'm also proud to say, as Dr. Barron mentioned, that the university has, has, has maintained its mission, mission of offering strong and vibrant associate degree programs. Also, UA Fort Smith is a model university in serving the workforce development, the cultural and the continuing educational needs of the greater Fort Smith area. And Dr. Barron, I very much appreciate your leadership, the leadership of, we've got a wonderful administration, fantastic faculty and staff for providing quality academic service, quality academic programs and service programs for students and for the community at large. And I'm very, very proud that the University of Arkansas at Fort Smith, this university, is a member of the University of Arkansas system. Now, as all commencement speakers do, I'm compelled to give you a little advice and counsel about how to be successful in business and education or whatever your career might be. And I feel rather, rather well qualified to do that, being 73 years old, having been a university president for nearly 32 years. I was an Army captain. So, you know, I, I know it all. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, I, I appreciate it. Now, what I'm about to tell you this afternoon, though, is, is something that you may, you have heard, and there's no question about it. You've heard it from your mother, your father, your grandparents, your teacher, your coach, your Boy Scout or Girl Scout leader, from other people, but you haven't heard it from me. So I'm going to tell you what I think, and it's going to be exactly what they think, but I'm going to say it in a row. But first, I'd like to congratulate you for earning your degrees that you have received today, that you're receiving, that you will receive today. You've worked hard. You've studied. Some of you more than others, but you still studied, you know. <laughs> Most of you have gone to class pretty much all the time. Some of you skipped it every once in a while and probably had a little influence on your grade, but that's all right. You made it. And thanks, and I mean this very sincerely, thanks to a very dedicated and committed faculty. I can assure you that a, degree, that a degree from the University of Arkansas at Fort Smith, whether it's associate, baccalaureate, one year certificate, whatever, is highly respected and much appreciated. I know that some of you graduating here today immediately started to school right after high school. Others have been in the workforce and worked while you're going to school. Now, some of you probably right out of high school enrolled in college, but you didn't do so well. You know, and uh oh, I saw a few smiles on the faces of the graduates. Didn't do so well. So you went out and worked, and then you decided to come back to the university. Said, I, I just need to have that degree. And you did. And you came back and you completed that degree. And you know what changed? Did your mind change? No, it didn't. You've got the same brain power today that you had 10 years ago. Might be a little bit more full, you know, now, but I'm talking about the potential was there. What changes with your motivation? You said, I want to get an education. You said, I want to go to class. I want to study. I want to do all those things that I need to, to get that education. And you did. And then, of course, some of you transferred from two-year schools. But, but, but whatever, whatever you did, you came motivated to this institution, and you are now going to earn that degree. Now, to my advice. For moving, for doing successful, and some of you are already successful in the workplace, but your degrees are certainly going to help you, and maybe even these comments that I might, you know, I help you to be, become the boss one of these days, you can never tell. So, but it's in terms of how to be successful in the workplace and how to move into leadership positions and move up to leadership, you know, positions till one day, you know, you can, you, you, when, you know, when you move up to a, a different level, different level, you know, you can pull a few more strings and you can control the situation a little better and things like that. And, 
And you know, you, you know, unless you're the, well, any rate, that's what you're going to do. Now, and Dr. Barron mentioned this. First of all, you've got to learn everything you can about your job and your responsibilities. We live in a society where there is a veritable knowledge explosion almost on, another, on a daily basis. A new iPhone, a new iPad, a new whatever it may be next week, and you're going to be buying the next one in the next generation. It's just unbelievable. And I hate to admit it, but I kind of think it's kind of left me behind. But I'm going to, I'm going to keep working on it, but try to stay up. But these are exciting times. But it will also be a challenge to stay current. So throughout your lifetime, keep reading, keep learning, and keep on being inquisitive. But you know what? You're never going to know all the answers. Don't try to bluff your way through a situation at work or wherever it may be, even with your wife or your parents or your children, or et cetera. Can't kind of children, you got to do a little bluffing maybe once in a while with the children. But if you don't know the answer, just say you don't know. But you will find out what that answer is and then go find that answer. Second, work hard, work hard, work hard. A prolific writer of management books, Michael Corder, stated the following, you should put your soul and being and life into every act that you are performing. It is better to do nothing than to do something badly. What Corder is saying is, when you're given a job, do it well. If you want to be successful in your career, you must develop, I think Dr. Barron knew what I was going to talk about, but you must develop that self-motivation and, and that's self-discipline, to be a productive, energetic, and enthusiastic person on a day-in and a day-out basis. You cannot do the job really well on Monday and Tuesday and say, well, now I've done a good job for two days a week. Now I'm going to kind of rest for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That won't make it. You just won't, you won't make it. But you've got to be able to be consistent with that commitment all the time. All businesses and professions are hungry for dedicated people. I promise you that if you are a dependable producer, you will be rewarded. Third, and you heard this many times over and over, and you know it to be the truth. You know it to be the truth, but that is that character traits such as honesty and high moral values are absolutely necessary as you plan for a successful career and worthwhile life. My fourth recommendation is. And I think this is a really important one, and I think we need this worldwide, and certainly we need it within our society. Fourth recommendation is to treat the people with whom you work with dignity and respect. Better yet, treat everybody with dignity and respect. Do, you raise your hands. Does everybody know what the golden rule is? Raise your hands if you know what the golden rule is. They're like, oh, everybody knows what the golden rule is. The audience. Okay. I sound like a preacher here this afternoon, don't I? But it's Matthew 7, 12, and it says, Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. And I'm going to tell you what. That is the very best one-sentence sentence management guide that's ever been stated, stated or ever been written. Remember that. Remember. Now, one of my favorite books on leadership was written back in the 16th century, a long time ago, by a fellow named Machiavelli who was commissioned by the de' Medici family, who then ruled Italy. And there were a lot of princes throughout the, you know, I, I love those young people, you know, talking and everything like that because they're future students, you know what I mean? <laughs> glad, glad you're here. Yeah. But at any rate, there were the princes in, 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 in Italy. As I say, the, the Medici family were the ruler, family rulers, but they wanted a book written about how to be a good prince. And in his book, The Prince, Machiavelli writes about winning the loyalty and support of people who work for you. And he said, loyalties that are won by rewards and not by greatness on the nobility of soul cannot be depended upon in time of adversity. To me, what the prince is saying is you cannot buy the loyalty of the people who are working for you. You must earn their respect. You must you must earn their respect and loyalty by being a good boss and an effective leader. You don't build that respect unless you first show that respect to others. Again, honesty plays a big role in, in developing loyalty. Now another is good communications. 
Good communications are a trademark of a competent leader. You know what? The best communicators always seem to be the best listeners. When somebody's talking to you, look at that person in the eye and make that person feel that what they have to say is very, very important. Have you ever been talking to somebody and you're carrying on a conversation and all of a sudden they start looking to see who they're going to speak to next, etc.? That doesn't make you feel very good. And it doesn't, that doesn't, that's not the way you need to be if you're going to be successful in the business world, professional world, the educational world. Don't develop that habit, okay? Listen and, and make sure that what you're listening to, the person feels it's important. Another mark of a successful person, this is going to really hurt. Learn to use time. Think of it as a friend, not an enemy. Have you ever heard the word procrastination? Nobody's ever heard the word procrastination. Well, procrastination, our great old biblical word called sloth, are mentioned in all religions as being one of the cardinal sins of human behavior. We're all guilty of this sin, and anybody's not. You just, they're just not, they don't have the, what I call the honesty, because we all are. <laughs> but if you want to be viewed as a successful producer, leader, you will have to come, overcome your tendency toward procrastination or slothfulness. And then I think the most important piece of advice that I can give to anybody is to keep your sense of humor. If you don't have a sense of humor, develop one. Don't take, your li don't take yourself or life too seriously. You're going to have many successes, and you all are way on your, you're well on your way. But you're also going to have disappointments. And with those disappointments, when they come, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. There was something about an ant in a rubber tree plant. Wasn't it a song or something? Said something like that. I think it was. But at any rate. And I think that's enough advice for one day. Actually, I could have said it all by quoting just a little short poem. And then you're probably going to say, well, why didn't you just quote the little short poem? Well, I mean, I want to make a speech. <laughs> Listen to this. Do a little more than you're paid to do. Give a little more than you have to. Try a little harder than you want to. Aim a little higher than you think possible. And give a lot of thanks to God for health, family, and friends. I've really enjoyed being your commencement speaker today. Good luck to you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Sugg. As we proceed, please observe these three courtesies that show respect for all. That seems to be thematically consistent. Uh, with what Dr. Sugg just talked about. First, a professional photographer will take a photograph of all graduates as they receive their degrees. Do not come forward to take individual photographs so that we may keep congestion to a minimum and allow the audiences an unobstructed view. Graduates, please remember to stop for a photograph with me after you have received your diploma. Now, I'm going to reinforce this because what happens is that people are so excited about getting that diploma case and they run off the stage and I have to grab you by the arm and pull you back to get that, to get that, uh, that picture because I'm going to get a picture with you. Okay? You need to know that. I'm going to chase you down. Second, graduation from, th from the university is a happy time for all of us. I ask that as the names of the graduates are read, show your pride in their accomplishment with appropriate reserve and dignity. Third, out of respect for the graduates and their families, please remain until all graduates have been recognized and the recessional is complete. And now I call upon Provost and Senior Vice Chancellor Ray Wallace to come forward to present the candidates for their degrees. Thank you, Dr. Barron. Will the candidates for all degrees from the University of Arkansas please rise and remain standing? Chancellor Barron, each candidate standing before you has completed a prescribed course of study 
defined by the faculty. The names of candidates graduating in absentia are listed in the program, but will not be read. Some candidates are wearing medals as recipients of an Academic Excellence Award, as selected by the faculty of their program. A number of, of candidates have completed their studies with a grade point average of at least 3.60 and are identified as academic honors students by an honor stole which they wear. Each dean will announce the student's honor status as their names are called. On behalf of the faculty of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, it is my pleasure and privilege to present these candidates for the awarding of technical certificates, associate degrees, and baccalaureate degrees. Will the faculty of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith now stand to show concurrence? With the concurrence of this faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University of Arkansas system, I confer upon you your respective degrees with all the honor, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Faculty and students, you may be seated. Wayne Womack, the University Registrar, will now come forward to assist in the presentation of diplomas. The graduates will now be recognized by the deans of their colleges in the following order. Dr. Georgia Hale, Dean, College of Applied Science and Technology. Dr. Steve Williams, Dean, College of Business. Dr. John Jones, Dean, College of Education. Dr. Carolyn Mosley, Dean, College of Health Sciences. Dr. Henry Rennie, Dean, College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Dr. Joe Harden, Dean, Colleges of Languages and Communication. Dr. Uh, Dr. Mark Arant, Dean, College of Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics. Dr. Ashok Saxena, Dean, College of Engineering, University of Arkansas, Fayetteville. A distinguished faculty marshal will lead each group from their respective college. The graduates from the College of Applied Science and Technology are led forward to receive their de degrees by Jason Merritt, Distinguished Marshal from the College of Applied Science and Technology. James H. Winton, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Nicholas D. Hicks, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Maureen Mohan Didion, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Leadership. Christine Elise Curran, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Leadership. Chris D. Moore, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Leadership. Brittany T. Hunt, Bachelor of, Applied, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Shanley Nicole Bottoms, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Joshua Joe Bull, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Patricia J. Morgan, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Amy D. Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Lori Denise Lensing, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Joshua Shane Looper, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. India Chantel Brooks, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Joshua Andrew Simmons, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Drake Morris Nichols, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Susan Ruth Williams, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. 
Brian N. Hurt, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Ashley Renee Wimberly, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Kevin Boatman, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Jonathan Bradley Haddock, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Alexandra Tucker Hodus, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Joyce A. Johns, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. James Donald Johnson, Bachelor of Applied Science. Giovanni Ocasio Contreras, Bachelor of Applied Science. Lawanda Jones, Bachelor of Applied Science. Aaron G. Chavez, Bachelor of Applied Science. Sindra Leah Horton, Bachelor of Applied Science. Catherine M. Cameron, and Charles C. Cameron, Jr., both Bachelor of Applied Science. Christopher John Christensen, Bachelor of Applied Science. Annette Broda, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Patricia West, Bachelor of Applied Science. <laughs> Wade S. Brown, Jr., Associate of Applied Science, Administrative Professional in Office Technology. Janice L. Martinez, Associate of Applied Science, Administrative Professional, and Office Technology. Devola Michelle Chapel, Associate of Applied Science, Administrative Professional, and Office Technology. Mary Lucretia Gaynor, Associate of Applied Science, Administrative Professional, and Office Technology. That's Savon Von Sadie, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology Automotive. Brad David Syrock, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology Automotive. Stephen K. Robbins, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology Automotive. Tommy Anthony Chapman, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Automotive. <laughs> Marty Dean Hay, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Automotive. <laughs> Michael Leroy Thomas, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Automotive.
Jonathan C. Kiefer, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Aided Drafting and Design. Eric Daniel Castanon, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Aided Drafting and Design. Daniel Mangua, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Aided Drafting and Design. William Hearn, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Aided Drafting and Design. <laughs> Kenneth D. Gardner, Certificate, Workforce Leadership. <laughs> Lauren Nicole Teague, Associate of Applied Science, Administrative Professional and Office Technology. William Lyle Barton, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. Frederick D. Walton, Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. Brian D. Robinson, Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. Patrick K. Steele, Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. Michael V. Wynn, Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. Bruce S. Enthavong. Associate of Applied Science, Electronics Technology. <laughs> Timothy Brian Glass, Associate of Applied Science, Workforce Leadership. Mark Barto, Associate of Applied Science, Workforce Leadership. Kelly Marie Fouts, Associate of Applied Science, Legal Assistance, Paralegal. <laughs> Tiffany Danielle Hartmeyer, Associate of Applied Science, Legal Assistance, Paralegal. <laughs> David Joshua Witt, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Automotive. James Andy Land III, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Welding. <laughs> Bill R. Allen, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the College of Applied Science and Technology. Dana Kareen Broad, BBA, Business Administration and Accounting, Cum Laude. Allison Ray Ensel, BBA, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Ashley Marie Jones, BBA, Accounting and Business Administration, Cum Laude. Ashton K. Peters, BBA Marketing, Cum Laude. Camden Ezekiel Christopher Poor, BBA Business Administration, Cum Laude. Margie Ann Ramsey, BBA Accounting and Business Administration, Cum Laude. 
Joshua James Rogers, BBA, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Rebecca Rose Sherum, BBA, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Sylvia Dorothea Walker, BBA, Business Administration. Matthew Elliott, BBA, Business Administration. Brian Wesley Potroff, BBA, Marketing. Ashley Sarah Garris, BBA, Business Administration. Kerry McKinney, BBA, Marketing. Mandy Janie Mitchell, BBA, Business Administration. Caitlin Marie Weisenfels, BBA, Marketing. Hai Fu, BBA, Business Administration. David L. Baum, BBA, Business Administration. <laughs> Stephen J. Clark, BBA, Business Administration. Mark Ryan Billingsley, BBA, Business Administration. Jared Grant Struther, BBA, Business Administration. Shelby Ray Basham, BBA, Marketing. Jeremy Andrew Moore, BBA, Marketing. Alex Paul Clifton, BBA, Business Administration. Les G. Chance, BBA, Accounting. Regina Marie Jones, BBA, Accounting. Kelton Lynn Inge, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. <laughs> Jamie Elise Titworth, BBA, Business Administration. <laughs> Cassie Jean Holmes, BBA, Business Administration. Heather Honea, BBA, Business Administration. Matthew A. Motes, BBA, Business Administration. Catherine Renee Brown, BBA, Accounting and Business Administration. Lauren Nicole Pendleton, BBA, Accounting and Business Administration. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Watkins, BBA, Accounting and Business Administration. <laughs> Nanette L. McLean, BBA, Accounting.
Connie T. Morales, BBA, Accounting. Zachary Hunter Jennings, BBA, Accounting and Business Administration. Holly Elaine Parson, BBA, Accounting and Business Administration. Trent Ryan Bonville, BBA, Accounting and Business Administration. Chad Ella Allen Belt, BBA, Accounting. Kendra Leah Taylor, BBA, Business Administration. Randall D. Briggs, BBA, Business Administration. Charles D. Hartsfield, BBA, Business Administration. Michael Evan Breedlove, BBA, Accounting and Business Administration. Nicholas Ryan Kremers, BBA, Business Administration. Jerry Lee England, Jr., BBA, Business Administration. Ashley Leanne Arnold, BBA, Business Administration. Jeffrey Ryan Taylor, BBA, Business Administration. Colby Ryan Gibson, BBA, Business Administration. Annie Tiwan Nguyen, BBA, Business Administration. Sokir Mantheong, BBA, Accounting. Heather Kool-Aid Haig, Haig, Haigy, Haig, can't read it right. BBA Accounting and Business Administration. William Tyler Lehman, BBA Business Administration. Kevin McKissick Moore, BBA, Business Administration. <laughs> William Alexander Green, BBA, Business Administration. Please join with the faculty of the College of Business in recognizing the 2011 business graduates. The graduates from the College of Education are led forward to receive their degrees by Dr. Jan Dickinson, Distinguished Marshal from the College of Education. Caitlin Danielle Coltrane, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, summa cum laude. April Howard, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, summa cum laude. Tracy Lauren Jordan, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, summa cum laude. Stephanie Michelle Kessner, 
Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, summa cum laude. Leah K. Adlot, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, magna cum laude. Veronica Luna, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, magna cum laude. Acacia Schuyler Cheshire, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, cum laude. Aaron Casey Dickerson, Bachelor of Science, Middle Childhood Education, cum laude. Tracy D. Earnhardt, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, cum laude. Marisa Elizabeth Thornburg, Bachelor of Science, Middle Childhood Education, cum laude. <laughs> Natasha Michelle Youngblood, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, cum laude. <laughs> Amanda Danae Morgan Delp, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Brittany Nicole Cluck, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Alicia Danielle Waite, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Teresa Deanne Rickman, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Leah Christine Erndenson, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Courtney Denise Wiles, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Ashley Michelle Cox, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. James Irvin Quinn, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Erica Elaine Polk, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Kathy J. Strassel, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Kayla Rachel Gann, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Ashley Louise Williamson, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Jamie Michelle Whitaker, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Misty Dawn Minor, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Crystal Arlene Durham, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Randy R. McCoy, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Leah Elizabeth Roper, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Jessica Marie Harris, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. April Lynn Stites, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Mark 
Andrew Karsten, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Jeremy Harrison, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Patricia Ann Dewberry, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Josie Lynn Hudson, Bachelor of Science, Middle Childhood Education. Stacy Lynn Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Middle Childhood Education. Candace Marie Standridge, Bachelor of Science, Middle Childhood Education. Michelle Nicole Michael Jones, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Deborah Regains Chamberlain, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Shelley Ruth Cole, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Ladavon Vongvile, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Would you please join me in recognizing the graduates from the College of Education? The graduates from the College of Health Sciences are led forward to receive their degrees by Ms. Dana Reeves, Distinguished Marshal from the College of Health Sciences. Maggie Jean Atkinson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Bradley Scott Ogilvie, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Natella Ann Curriton, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Melissa Adrienne Buckner, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Jordan Elizabeth Godwin, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Jessica Deanna Glover, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Jamie Aaron Sammonson, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Rachel Ann Parrish, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Melissa Lee, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Katrina Renee Gilrep, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Adria Jensen, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Jeffrey Letlow, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Kelly Kathleen Chamberlain, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Ann McKenna Winda is accompanied by her husband, Dr. Michael Winda Kathenji, Assistant Professor of History, <laughs> Bachelor of Science Nursing. <laughs> Ms.
Latanya Deloney, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Natalie Trisho Clark, Bachelor of Science, Imaging Sciences, Sonography. Sharon K. Williams, Bachelor of Science, Imaging Sciences, Sonography. Brittany M. Wright, Bachelor of Science, Imaging Sciences, Sonography. Haley Elizabeth Myers, Bachelor of Science, Imaging Sciences, Sonography. Chad Lawrence Blackburn, Bachelor of Science, Imaging Sciences, Sonography. Javier Galvan, Associate Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Chris Beth Nanette Atkinson, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Heather Lee Lovelace, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Andrea Leah Gore, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. April Ann Spoon, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Kimberly Dawn Farmer, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Natasha Ray Edwards, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Cassie Lynn Kennedy, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Jason Dean Hoyt, Associate of Applied Science, Surgical Technology. Danielle Ray Russell, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Latasha Nicole Olden, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Hannah Corrin Brumley, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Jill Annette Teak, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Billy Clark, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Kelly Dean Stone, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Sarah Jean Clark, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Alyssa S. King, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Rachel Danielle Barnes, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Laura Lee Pylon, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Brooke Ashley Thomas, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Amber Walker, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene. Morgan Lindsay Farrell, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Hygiene.
Colleen Marie Montgomery, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing Technology. <laughs> Teresa Marie Dye, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing Technology. <laughs> Jamie Heather Gray, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing Technology. Scholar Paul Vaughn, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Benito Eugene Ballon, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Tanya Roxanne Russell, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Ariel McCall Adair, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Amanda Karen Hampel, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. William, excuse me, Willie B. Nielsen, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Krista Lee Dollard, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. <laughs> Carrie Dawn Ross, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. <laughs> Rachel Ann Tibbet, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Cambry Colby Brooks, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. <laughs> Kayla Diane Hallen, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. <laughs> Allison Christine Bob, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Tani Lee Marshall, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Ashley Lynette Crockett, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Jessica Marie Ryan, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Lindsay Brooke Chapman, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Courtney Nicole Melton, Associate of Applied Science, Radiography. Edna Miranda Ruiz, Associate of Applied Sciences, Nursing Technology. Leanne Weyrick, Associate of Appli Leanne Weyrick, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing Technology. Please join me in congratulating all the graduates from the College of Health Sciences. The graduates from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences are led forward to receive their degrees by Dr. Rita Barrett, Distinguished Marshal from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Oh. Debbie Marare Banos, Bachelor of Arts Theater, Acting and Directing.
Ashley Noel Klink, Bachelor of Arts, Theater, Acting and Directing, Magna Cum Laude. Lacey Deanne Inez Self, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Morgan Blaine Fox, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Virginia Wesley Fubayashi, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art, Cum Laude. Amanda L. Mitchell, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Lucia Nishilova, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Aaron Michelle Albertson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Karen Renee Avery, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Rachel Ball, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Antonio Jesus Contreras, Bachelor of Arts, History. Anthony D. Boyd, Bachelor of Arts, History. <laughs> Dina Bushnock, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. <laughs> Courtney Aleas Champion, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Kiara Cherry, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Michael Davis, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Amy Dean, Bachelor of Arts, History. Retha Marlene Dora, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Summer Danielle Ferguson, Bachelor of Arts, Theater, Acting and Directing. Deborah Renee Fields, Bachelor of Arts, History. Karen Dawn Sanders Bush, Bachelor of Arts, History. Richard Allen Gunzelman II, Bachelor of Arts, Theater, Acting and Directing. Maria W. Haynes, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Joshua Matthew Hodge, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Christopher Holsey, Bachelor of Arts, History. Joseph Calvert Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, History. Stephanie Lauren Judkins, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Joshua R. Kimbrell, Bachelor of Arts, History. Danny Ray Kinsey, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Miles Aaron Ledbetter, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. <laughs> Kathy Mason, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology and Studio Art.
Melissa Diane Milburn, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Chelsea Ann Norris, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Jeffrey Patterson, Bachelor of Arts, Music, Performance, Vocal. Michael DeWhitney Pless, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Andrew Ryan Post, Bachelor of Arts, History. Andrew Tyler Reeves, Bachelor of Arts, History. Jimmy Conrad Richard III, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Robert Anthony Rogney, Bachelor of Arts, Graphic Design. Madison Victoria Simon, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Natalie Elise Sly, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Amy Joanne Tabor, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Becky Thomason Terrell, Bachelor of Arts, Criminal Justice. Crystal Walters, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Rod Dean Williamson, Bachelor of Arts, History, Historical Interpretation. <laughs> Siobhan D. Willis, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Colin Robert Smith, Bachelor of Arts, History, Historical Interpretation. Shelley Lee Glass, Associate of Arts. Daryl John LaRue, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Jamie Lee Weems, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Please join me in honoring the 2011 graduates from the College of Humanities and Social Science. The graduates from the College of Languages and Communication are led forward to receive their degrees by Lori Norin, Distinguished Marshal from the College of Languages and Communication. All right, bring them on. Hi, how are you? Jonathan. Jonathan G. Tenen, Bachelor of Arts, English, Summa Cum Laude. Jonathan, good job. Catherine Elizabeth Feather, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure, Magna Cum Laude. Hey, Yolanda, how are you? Good. Yolanda Yvette Matheny Merriman, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure, Magna Cum Laude. Hey, how are you? Marcus Jeffrey, Bachelor of Arts, English, Cum Laude. Amanda Joanne Beck, Bachelor of Arts, English. Hi. Melissa Renee Hayes, Bachelor of Arts, English. Hi. Angel Lee Pullum, Bachelor of Arts, English. Hi. 
Jessica Renee Sinclair, Bachelor of Arts, English. Trey Clark, Bachelor of Arts, English and Theater, Acting Directing. Katie Diana Pitchford, Bachelor of Arts, Spanish. Hi. Melanie Lane Perez, Bachelor of Arts, Spanish. Hi. Liliana Isabel Sierra, Bachelor of Arts, English and Spanish. Hi. Genevieve Ann Ashcraft, Bachelor of Arts, English. Hi, how are you? Just fine. Jean Marie Powell, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing. Myra Jean Turner, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing. Hi. Melissa Ann Gilbert, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Hi. Oh, I think I'll get it. Let's see. Emily Catherine Camp, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Kara Suzanne Hewitt, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Hi. Kara Elise Waldrop, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Jonathan David Obermark, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. Annette B. Barnes, Associate of General Studies. Samantha Blake Wagner, Associate of Arts. Hey, how you doing? Nelson Roselle, Associate of Arts. Pamela McKee, Associate of Arts. How you doing, sir? Congratulations. Michael Tucker, Associate of General Studies. Hi. Say that again. Rananda Chantel Taylor, Associate of General Studies. Good to see you. Chris S. Blaylock, Associate of General Studies. Congratulations, Chris. Kara Gillum, Associate of Arts. Hi. Emily Ellen Singleton, Associate of General Studies. Stephanie Campbell, Associate of Arts. How you doing? Derek Shane Robbins, Associate of Arts. Hi. Julie Ann Jackson, Associate of General Studies. How you doing? Gail Green Sims, Associate of General Studies. Hey, how are you? Good. Alex Thongam Chenpresith, Associate of General Studies. Graduates from the College of Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics being led forward to receive their degrees by Mr. Chris Nubley, Distinguished Ma Marshal of the College of STEM.
Matthew Jonathan Neo, Bachelor of Science, Biology, summa cum laude. Wesley Parker Musgrove, Bachelor of Science, IT, summa cum laude. Timothy Lee Newman, Bachelor of Science, IT, summa cum laude. Amanda Denise Bailey, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Kevin Dale Eford, Bachelor of Science, IT, Magna Cum Laude. Justin J.J. Johnson, Bachelor of Science, IT, Magna Cum Laude. Alpha Sigma Lambda. Christopher Dale Boyd, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology, Cum Laude. Nathan Wesley Clark, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics with Teacher Licensure, Cum Laude. Brittany Kathleen Gallimore, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology, Cum Laude. Bao Tu Win, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology, Cum Laude. Delbert James Sawyer, Jr., Bachelor of Science, Information Technology, Cum Laude. Stephen D. Sawyer, Bachelor of Science, IT. Cody Allen Folvery, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Curtis Lyle Jarvis, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Joseph Allen Gowan, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Right. Eric Jason McGee, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Kevin James Arburster, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Gary Lay Ezel, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Dylan Ross Bray, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Matthew E. Holland, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Kaylin R. Hurst, Bachelor of Science, Biology with Teacher Licensure. <laughs> Melissa Jean Heaney, Bachelor of Science, Biology with Teacher Licensure. Tamara Jolene Barden, Bachelor of Science, Biology with Teacher Licensure. Richard W. Cowan, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Pong Linda Fang, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Caleb Benjamin Pence, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Carrie Lynn Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Renee Michelle Mott, Bachelor of Science, Biology.
Megan L. Kelly, Bachelor of Science, Biology. I hope so. We may get two pictures. <laughs> Leslie Diane Sal Salisbury, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Joshua Adams, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Samuel Lewis Hyman, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Rashim Malik Merriweather Sr., Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Tiet T. Ho, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Beek Na T. Tran, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Christy Bang Tong, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Amanda Nicole O'Leary, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Logan Reed Cruz, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Ian Scott Miller, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Benjamin Joseph Hobbs, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Patricia Dawn Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Pamela Irene Brusso, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Robin Ann Mendenhall, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Joseph Ray Boyd, Associate of Applied Science, Information Technology. Michael L. Morrow, Associate of Applied Science, Information Technology. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the College of STEM. The graduates from the College of Engineering, University of Arkansas Fayetteville, are led to receive their degrees by Dr. Randall Overby, Distinguished Marshal from the College of Engineering, University of Arkansas Fayetteville. David Bernard, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, with highest distinction. <laughs> Jamie de Torres, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, with high distinction. Dylan Harris, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, with high distinction. Joshua Hunt, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, with high distinction.
Josue Diaz, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Clinton Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Chris Lynham, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Robert Self, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Jerry Williams, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering. Neil Kubrick, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Taylor Sterling, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Andrew Van S, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the University of Arkansas Fayetteville College of Engineering. Graduates, please rise. I invite you to please move your tassels to the left side of your mortar boards. Graduates, Please give a round of applause and thanks to the faculty and staff of the university in recognition of the roles they have played in the attainment of your degrees. And now, graduates, I'd like you to look out into the stands, find the people who helped you, give a round of applause to thank your parents, grandparents, spouses, children for the encouragement, guidance, and love they have given you while you have pursued your degrees. Please be seated. Elizabeth Underwood, director of the UA Fort Smith Alumni Association, will now greet and address the graduates as new members of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Alumni Association. Good afternoon. On behalf of more than 48,000 University of Arkansas Fort Smith alumni around the nation and the world, I'd like to say to you congratulations and welcome to the proud network of alumni. This is a transforming moment. You entered this campus as college students and will leave today as alumni. The relationship you have developed with UA Fort Smith is permanent and lasting. The transition from student to graduate makes you a new partner in the future of your alma mater. Your continued involvement is important in helping to shape the university for the students that will follow you. Graduates, we will stay in touch with you in years to come, and we need you to stay in touch with us as well. 
for we want to know about those great jobs, personal awards, outstanding service activities, and personal accomplishments so that we can let everyone know about our accomplished alumni. To help keep you connected, you will receive the Bell Tower, an, a magazine published for our alumni. We will host an annual alumni weekend this fall, where alumni from all generations will return to campus with their family to enjoy a spectrum of events. But for now, on this important day, as you celebrate your achievement with your family and friends, please remember that you are part of an educational heritage that spans over 80 years. As alumni, you now have an obligation and the opportunity to make sure future students have the same experience you have today, the amazing exhilaration of accepting a college diploma. As you exit the Stubblefield Center today, please be sure to stop by our alumni tent and pick up our graduation gift for you. Don't forget to join our online community, a free service to keep you connected with class notes, e-newsletters, and much more. But for now, thank you, and again, congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Underwood. We appreciate your continued service to the university through the Alumni Association. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us today at the Spring 2011 Commencement Ceremony. Commencement is a time for ending one period of your life and a time for beginning a new phase. Commencement is a time for celebration. I know you will take with you the knowledge and skills to excel in our modern and complex world. We take pride in your accomplishments and wish you success in the future. We will conclude this commencement ceremony with our alma mater. The words to the alma mater may be found on page 15 of your program. And following the alma mater, we request that you remain at your seats until the recessional is complete. Please meet your graduates outside. Please rise. Chancellor Barron and President Sugg, I declare this commencement adjourned. <laughs>